What's up guys, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome once again to Race Room Racing Experience. It's been a while since I've done a video on new content for Race Room, but this is definitely a great reason to jump back in. The World Touring Cars are some of my favorite vehicles in this racing sim and in my opinion really plays to what Race Room does best. These are front wheel drive cars and they're not for everyone, but I think Race Room does a great job with them here. There's a full roster to fill out the 2020 series entries, including the new Cooper Leon and the Renault Megane. It's not cheap if you want to own the whole pack. The complete car and livery pack will be priced at 23 US dollars, or it is right now at least. And I got a reduction, which I believe was from owning identical liveries from the 2019 season. But you can choose to buy the cars one at a time if you want. And standard disclaimer here, this is Race Room, so don't buy the content from the store directly. Go to raceroomstore.com, get yourself some VRP, check your email for a redeem code, then apply that redeem code at raceroom.com takes a few extra minutes but it'll save you money and that money then can of course be used to buy yourself some cool sim racing 604 merchandise if you want or buy groceries it's up to you the real world wtcr calendar was altered due to that thing that happened to us last year but they still managed to make 16 races happen with dates at zolder norchleifa slovakia ring hungaro ring and motorland aragon and the full roster includes cars from hyundai renault honda lincoln co audi cupra and alfa romeo and all those cars are represented here so if you only wanted to buy one what is my favorite or what do i recommend you buy I've driven all of them and there's no bad cars here, but my personal favorite is the Alpha and I think it was for the 2019s as well. Uh, but I also found the Honda Civic and the Audi pretty fantastic as well. So let's take the new Renault out for a spin and enjoy the race guys. Alright guys, so here we are at Watkins Glen on board the Renault. And we are not going bowling. Green flag any old time now. Awkward pause, awkward pause, awkward pause. And it looks like we are away. Starting in 16th of 20 positions. Oops, passed on the outside. That's a terrible start. At least they made it a clean pass. One of my favorite sectors in all of racing right here. Absolutely fantastic. A little bit better perhaps in a higher horsepower car, but it is what it is. Have to really be mindful of your braking distances in these front wheel drive cars slamming on the brakes not a good option might have a pass on the inside here neck and neck down this short straight before we get into my least favorite corner on the track, I find this one just tough to navigate. And two wide here. Ooh. That was TWO wide. All right. Let's see if we can make up some of these positions. Running. 15th is not a good feeling. 16th, sorry. It's only a five lap race, so we don't have a ton of time to make up spots. We should start to see the field shake out a bit. Love those ambient sounds. Hopefully I've got it turned up high enough to where you guys can appreciate them. And this should be fun. Round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Ah, oh, 
this is wicked. It's not always fun to come 15th, 16th. But, uh, very cool cars. And somehow, whoa. Well, I just got saved by a bump there. I was gonna say, somehow this car is perfect for this track, and then I just about lose control, so shows what I know. Come on, girl. You got this. Somewhere in purgatory between 14th and 15th position now. Thought it might have the inside line there. Starting the third lap now. Again, third of five laps. Really liking this car so far. I was surprised. They didn't like it very much in testing, but so far treating me well here at the Glen. And about a 0.7 gap to the car ahead. which I should be able to make up with some clever braking here. Again, you gotta be mindful of it. Oh, see that Lincoln Co going very wide. Must be a strange camber on that corner or something. Cause I almost lost it again there. Seem to have sort of found my groove right now. Man, that Civic two cars ahead, three cars ahead. Gorgeous, love the look of that car. So it might squeeze out a top 10 finish here. I think that uh, Alfa Romeo has about the worst back end of any race car I've ever seen. Just looks strange with the tires exposed like that at the rear. Three wide into turn one. Zero chance of me getting through this lap. Got the double Civic action here. And a bad judgment call there. I lifted when I shouldn't have. Woo! Give me space there, Civic. He is immediately to my right. Oh, just was able to avoid him. Not sure how I kept that clean, but I did. All right, this is the death corner for me here. Just gonna try and keep it steady. And currently running 10th of 20 positions, so we've gained six, lost one, then we gained seven back. And yeah, tell me that's not a great looking race car there, that Civic. 
Actually, those who don't like it definitely will tell me about it. Don't think I needed to ask for that. Oh, somebody went very wide. He's coming across dangerous like. Yeah, really loving these cars. In testing, I gotta admit, I was kind of not blown away by them. I was like, okay, they're, you know, maybe a little bit better than the 2019s. But uh, really loving this race. Maybe it's just the right track. So comfortably inside the top 10, just got to hold on to that. Maybe gain another position or two. No lift here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That was the most aggressive I've seen the AI so far in this race. Really shut that down quickly. Nice and easy, Mike. Don't blow this on the last lap. So it doesn't look like we'll gain any more positions. Might be able to sneak one here. Oh, Alpha going very wide there. Thought I might have him. No such luck. Whoop. Just about lost it myself. And just the two corners to go. Oh boy. He's immediately to my left. Gotta watch myself here. This is gonna be a battle. For seventh position, right down to the last corner. There we go. I either cut him off or something weird happened because he dropped 0.2 seconds back. Well, that was fun. All right, I forgot Race Room does that. No cooldown lap for you. All right, awesome job with these TCR cars. 2020, now available. Spendy, but if you like this type of car, I think it's fantastic. I had a great time with it. Again, didn't love it in practice but uh, getting it out here on track for a race felt really really fun it's a different gt experience being front wheel drive so i really liked it all right thank you so much guys for watching enjoy this replay and we'll see you next time